Today we're going to review the sum function. Please support this channel by giving us a thumbs up, click on the subscribe button, and turn on alerts for more videos like this one. We're going to be reviewing seven different ways to add cell values in Excel. Stay tuned to the end of the video as I'm going to be showing you an exciting Excel trick. I've created this chart for this demonstration and what it shows us is TV shows watched by these people here and how many shows they have watched in each month. And what we want to do is get a total by person for each month and then a monthly total and a grand total at the bottom. So the first way and I've put all these some options to the side here so you can follow along. Um, so you can just select these cells here and if you notice at the bottom it will give us the average, the count, and the sum. So you can go ahead and type in 53 here. Now again if you have long charts, a lot of numbers, this can be very cum cumbersome so there's a lot more simpler ways of doing this. So the first way you can do it is add a cell. So you can go in here, put your equals, and then select your cells, hit the plus, add them together, and there's your total. Another way we can do this is through the insert function. So if we come over here to formulas, click insert function, and now we're going to want to do a sum function, so click on this, and there's two ways of doing it. So the first way is we click on the first cell, click number two, the second cell, and click number three for the third cell, and hit OK and then we have our total. Another way we can do it is by going into the insert function, again clicking the sum, and this time clicking on the first cell and dragging it right across. So now we've done a range, E7 to D7, hit OK, and it's given us our total. Going on to number four, if you're following along, for some add cells. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the same thing as insert function, but this time we're going to enter it in manually. So, we're going to go into here, equals sum, and as you can see here, it says adds all the numbers in a range of cells. We're going to select our first cell, comma, cell, comma, cell, close it off, hit enter, and you see we got the total of 53. Now we can do the same thing again, but this time we can use the range. So let's remove it, back in, hit equals, type in the sum again. This time, instead of Select them one at a time. We're going to do the range, just drag it right across. You see there, B7 to D7. Close it off. And we have our number 53. Now we're on to number 6, the auto sum. So, just clear this out. select my cell and now you can see auto sum is here under the formulas tab it also shows up in the home tab under auto sum here so if you select auto sum you can see it automatically did it for you for that range and you can hit enter
Now, one thing I'd like to mention before moving on, this will also work when you're trying to sub up, sum up vertically as well. So if we click here and we want to do a range, and we can drag it all the way down here, close it off, and it has given us our total. And again, all the ones that we reviewed guys, one through six, will work identical when you're doing a vertical uh, sum. And just to show you that the auto sum will work as well, let's just click on it. And there you go. 107. Okay guys, before we jump into number 7, the Excel trick that I'm really excited to share with you, let's talk about number 8, copying formulas. Because if you're working with a large chart with a lot of numbers, um, you really don't want to be typing in these formulas line for line. So what you can do is you can click on your tab here with your formula in it, go over the bottom right hand corner, and then just drag it down over the cells below. For all the cells that you want to copy that formula in, and you can see all of our numbers are in here. You can do this vertically as well bottom right hand corner, drag it right across, and our formula is just carried right over. Okay guys, it's time for me to show you the really exciting Excel trick. So, let's clear all of our content and our formulas. Just all I usually do is go in and say clear contents, and I'll remove all the formulas we have in here. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type it out down below so you can test it out at home. So what you want to do is you want to click on the Alt and Equal Sign button at the same time, let it go, and then hit Enter. So let's show you here, Alt, Equals. And you can see our formula is already in there. So sum, it's put in the range. And now we can hit enter. And boom, it worked. That is amazing. And now we can try it here as well. Alt equals. There is our sum formula. And we can hit enter. And away you go. That is pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comment section below um, what you need help on in Excel. I will do my best to answer any questions or requests that you have in future videos. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have added a link to this workbook below. I also added some links to excellent Excel how to books. Uh, they will definitely help you on your journey to master Excel.